How's everybody doing? So I was on a uh, road trip recently. I was on a road trip recently and uh, was reading the uh, population of cities in Texas. And there's a city in Texas with a population of two. And I'm no expert, but that's not a city. That's a fucking date. <laughs> you can't believe a fine place to be. Because I'm not going down to town where uh, when I ask where the, uh, the bar is, they uh, say it's uh, wherever the ice chest is. <laughs> Maybe I'm just picky. That just lets me know that uh, we probably shouldn't stand around in one spot very long because Brandon right McCallum might get us. So I used to be a religious growing up, but not so much anymore. Uh, I have a, I don't really have a problem with many religions other than uh, the branch of Binnings. You guys remember them? Yeah. yeah. The guys that followed the uh, guy that called himself Jesus wearing glasses. I'm supposed to be evil and fucking blind. <laughs> So in other words, he can raise himself from the dead in three days, but he can't somehow fix that stigmatism. <laughs> Another one I have a problem with is uh, the suicide bombers, other than them being suicide bombers. But they uh, are probably 72 virgins when they uh, die. Uh, how many guys in here have ever tried to teach one woman how to do something? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> so uh, I spend a lot of my time online, and uh, I don't know. Uh, anybody else getting tired of the secret crushes? Because I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know if it's technology and peeping toms and stuff have gotten so fucking lazy, but I shouldn't have to click to find my secret crush. I should be able to look outside and see if he can do the bush in the back end. <laughs> yeah, I used to do uh, online porn. Anybody do that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, settle down, settle down. Nobody leave. You now, I used to do the online porn, but uh, I quit just because it was a hassle, because I kept getting screensavers popping up over it. And my screensaver was that star filled, you know, that comes at you. So one minute it's Candy Crystal and I in a dark room, and the next minute it's uh, I'm on fucking solo flying through the galaxy. Joe <laughs> <Jumping> and Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah, speaking online, uh, a lot of people worried about, about identity theft, not me. I've been trying to quit being me for 35 fucking years. <laughs> if you think you can do a better job of fucking up my life than I've done, then good luck with that. <laughs> Sometimes I wish my life was like an extra step. Somebody shake my ass, we can start this all over. <laughs> I've been in a lot of bad relationships. Uh, other than one, we've been together for, or we've been broken up for about a year. And uh, came home from work one day, and uh, she crawled through the window, laying naked on the bed. And most guys would be like, Jeremiah, what's the problem with that? Well, she's in my parents' bed. <laughs> and they were in it. <laughs> It'll throw a damper on the hole in. Uh, what else? I was trying to, was trying to memorize my whole set that way. The uh, relationship after that uh, wasn't any better. I was with a big woman. And I don't know how many y'all have been with a big woman. I'm not talking about this plump, fluffy, you know, big bone, whatever they call themselves. I'm talking about so big that when she uh, took off her clothes, uh, got naked, it looked like she, was, she had so many stretch marks, it looked like she was wearing a corduroy suit. <laughs> and she used to get up on my uh, Get up on me and ride me, made my ass whistle like a tea kettle. <laughs> uh, so big that whenever I got up to piss in the middle of the night, you don't come back, uh, kind of, you know, half awake, and you uh, get startling, and I didn't know whether to fuck it or shoot it. 
It's been a lot of fun, and I'm about to get off here, but I'll tell you about my uh, last relationship. Uh, it went even worse than the rest of them. Uh, we've been having problems, so I went to a friend for advice, and he said, uh, you ever heard that saying, if you love someone, set them free, if they're meant to be, then they'll come back? That was the worst fucking advice I ever got. And if she is so meant to be, we'll have to kidnap her ass in the first place. <laughs> Like every relationship, you learn something. In that particular relationship, I learned uh, how quick she can go from a soulmate to a witness. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all been a lot of fun. Thank you.